Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to our newest tutorial on how to set up a CRM inside Trello using Crumble. How to set it up. First thing you will need is number one, you will need a free Trello account. So if you just go to trello.com, you can sign up totally for free and get yourself an account. So I'm just going to log in with one of my free accounts here. Just one moment. There we have it. So I am now logged into Trello. Now what I want to do is switch back to the Crumble website. You can set this up through Trello, but I prefer this method just because it pulls more in of what you need. Now what you want to do is just literally press try it out. And what will happen? It will open up in another tab, this template board from Crumble. And this is what we want to use to set up our CRM. So what you want to do now is click create a board from the template and it will ask you to pick it a basically a name for it. So whatever you want to call it. So we'll just call this my CRM. And then you can choose which workspace this will go in and then we'll keep the cards, keep the templates and press create. Now, as you can see, it's asking us to pick a team. So we need to create a new team. I've already got one from what I created earlier but you would press create a new team and give it a name. Obviously, it's probably just you using this at the moment, but as you grow and you get more people adding in, you can add them in. So let's just click IT Moon Limited, which I created earlier. Now on this board, what you can see is I have already flashed it um, earlier on. Me, sorry, the <laughs> Rumble team did. So what we want to do is basically get this all fresh. So all you can do is right click on a card and press archive and you want to archive all of the cards that are within this board. So this is just teaching you basically how to use it. Obviously you can feel free to try and well, well, not try, to listen to them but we're not wanting to do that in this video. Now here we have their onboarding system. So what you want to do is decide how your pipeline is going to be. So everybody probably has an onboarding process for some of their services. So you may want to keep this, you may want to get rid of it. So I'm going to keep the onboarding, but I'm going to move it up here to the closed section. And then you want to decide on if you're happy with the rest of the list. So what stages do you have? So do you have new leads that are coming into your business? Hot leads, warm leads and cold leads. So for the purpose of this video, we will keep these, but we're going to just add one more list to this project. So what we are going to do is add a list that is basically for our re recurring income. So I just want us to get an emoji just, you know, to keep it all going with what the theme is. So I'm just going to get like a dollar emoji. I just want money. But where are we? And we can just press add another list. And I'm going to call it recurring income. So you may have some recurring income that happens every single month, such as I have a recurring income from my clients that come in through social media and for my upcoming membership. Might be lost by the time you watch this. So what we're happy with now is deciding if we want to include the recurring income in our figures. And I'll explain that in a moment. So let's just see what it looks like now. So let's add up a new lead. So if we press add a lead and we have someone new come in. So Joe Bloggs has come in and he's made an inquiry with us. And when you first start filling this in, you might be thinking, actually, there's some things that I would like to put into here that is missing. So, for instance, we've got the email, we've got the company, their job title, we've got the source that they came from, the date they inquired, we can give them a rating, give it a status so that it is open, and then give it a value. But then you might be thinking, actually, I'd like to record more information. And then this is the point where we'd want to customize it. So if I go into the dashboard, which you access here at the top right by pressing crumble, we can see here that I have one lead worth a thousand pounds. It was referred from Facebook. But actually, what if I want to find out what is this a lead for? Well, if I want a quick overview, find out, right, how many clients do I have on my membership, maybe? So what you can do is sorry, go back to crumble and on the left hand side you'll see settings and you can manage these crumble fields so you can basically put more fields on so we may want a field 
which I am going to use as a drop down box and I will tell you why in a moment and say that we want to call this the type of work and then we can put in here the type of work that we may offer so you may have a membership you may have you know a signature program that you offer you may have a power hour that you offer or you might just have other things that you offer and then what you can do is basically drag these to the correct place of where you want it to appear in the hierarchy of that so then all we need to do is just press out and then there we have it the type of work and I'm going to tick this box to show it on the front of the card. Now, what that means is if I go back onto the Joe Blogs card, I can add in the type of work. So it's a membership. And then, as you can see on the front of the card now, it's appearing. So that is what that little toggle does there. But now, if I go back into the dashboard in Crumble, I can change this filter by to something else. So I can say type of work. So this is now going to show me the type of work that I have people going into my funnel for. But if we did not actually change this to a drop down menu, it wouldn't have appeared in here. So if it was just a text field. It won't show up the text fields in this filter. So now we can see we've got one lead who is a new lead. And what happens is if you move this lead along, go to hot, and what will happen is in here, as you can see, the lead is now saying it's hot. In here, this is basically just giving you an overview altogether of where I think people have dropped in. So obviously we don't have one new lead now and one hot lead. It is just one hot lead. So the chart in the middle shows you the true value. And the funnel on the left hand side, it shows you what's been going through at this current moment in time. Now, if I get rid of this deal, archive it what you can see on the crumble menu is nothing is now showing because we don't have anything in there so it's got no data to pull in for us so what we want to do now is just basically get everything in order and see what it looks like when we have it working so i'm just going to add on some more cards so let me bring in your blogs again the going to move in panel there we go we've got joe blogs back now so just one moment and i'm going to go populate this up with some more details for you to show you how we can use this further right then so as you can see i've just fleshed it out with five deals now we've got one over at the close section one in new leads we've got two in hot and one in warm so now if we look at our dashboard all we can see is that we have five leads and here's the true value of where everything is. So hot, new leaves, closed, and warm. And we can see here that we've got £7,555. That is basically the total of all of this added up. You can see the main source is Facebook, but we do have an inquiry from the web as well. And that if we look at the type of work, we've got one power hour, one signature program, and three membership. And then what the thing is now is we may want to just see, right, so what is the value of what was closed currently? So, right, it's good to know that we've got a potential of 7,500 this month, but what's the what we have we're closed right now? So what you can do is on here, if you click on closed on the graph, then what will happen is it will change on the right-hand side, say that here, 1,000. So we can see we've closed 1,000 pounds worth of deal. And we can see that our closure rate is 20%. But you may actually class a close as onboarding. So you can change this here to onboarding and it will show you. But what you can see is the onboarding list is actually missing from this drop down menu here. So I'm going to show you how to make sure that that list is included. And you will also see that the monthly recurring revenue is also missing from here that we created earlier. The one that said regular revenue. So let's go back to our board. And what we can see here is that in the onboarding section and the recurring income, we don't have anything currently. But if we said Jenny Carson, she did come to us and she was a recurring income. As you can see, the card now looks different. And if we go into it, it says there's no, no crumble fields here. But then if we drag her back in to say one, 
all the details come back. And the reason is, is because we've not included these lists that we have here as part of our, basically, system. So if we go into here and press settings, you will see crumble lists. And this is where you add the list in. So we can basically say add list onboarding. And give it a colour if that we'd like. So we may want to give it pink, say, for instance. We want to show it in the reports. And yeah, maybe we want to show it in the funnel. So we can say show it in the funnel too. Press add. As you can see there, it's including it at the bottom of our funnel. And then obviously then we can add in recurring income. So we can put that in there. Maybe we want that to be green. We want to show it in our funnel. Maybe we do. So we can tick that and press add. And there we go. So now if we go back and we now drag Jenny Carson over to recurring income, all her details are kept. And also when we go into crumble, we can now select recurring income down here. So recurring income is 20% of the value on our board. For and also if we select recurring income here, we can see that we have £47 of recurring income. So this is a good way of where you can do it as well. Now obviously you may want to look at historically to see what it is from month to month. So you can do this using the date selector at the top. Or another way of doing it is that every month you could have a process where you move all your closed and won projects, or not projects, deals into another list. So we can say old closed deals. So let's just say that it's the end of the month. And, you know, we're gonna, we've closed Laura Burnett, so we're going to drag her in. Recurring income, that's going to stay there because that's every single month that we have that recurring income. So that can just stay there. We may put the onboarding ones over there as well. And obviously, it shows no information, but if we do ever drag this back on the board, all the details are there. And what we're going to do is when we're going to crumble, is we are not going to add it in here. Because we don't want it to be included in any of the reports or anything like that. So then if you go back to your dashboard, you can see that the value now has a thousand pound less because we've moved the closed deals out. So every month you can do that, so then that income that you see there is just for that month. If you wanted to get technical, you could even have a month for everyone. So you might have January closed deals. And then actually, if you're doing it that way, you may want to include that in your report. So in the settings section, you may add in the January closed deals. You want to show it in reports, but you don't want to show it in the funnel. And then if you go back into your dashboard, you can then see here it's included it in the whole total for you. But then you can then split things down if you wanted to and basically just say, right, so what is the January closed deals? And then you can click on January in here, and see that it's 1,000. Then you may want to say, right, so what is, let's just think in to the close section, the current month deals. And then you could click on close and see what the closed one is. I personally don't like that way because I like to see this value as a running monthly figure kind of thing. But um, when you get the dates in, you can potentially do that as well. And the only last thing to show you on this video is you can use the leads tab here to have a basically like a spreadsheet breakdown of everybody that you've added into here and you can export them out if you'd like to as a CSV or a spread. So I hope that helps. In our next video, we will go through toppings and show you how you can use these different toppings inside your Crumble Trello CRM. If you did like this video, make sure you like it, drop us a comment, and obviously do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell.